Okay, so there was some interesting trades yesterday, one between two division rivals and one between two teams that aren't really rivals, obviously. So let's get right into them. The Chicago Blackhawks trade Anton or trade for Anton Lenholm and Nikita Zadorov. They acquire from the Colorado Avalanche in exchange for Brandon Saad and Dennis Gilbert. I think this trade is um is a pretty interesting one because with the Chicago Blackhawks they're obviously heading in a, in a different direction with losing Crawford. Now they trade Saad. I mean, Colorado gets a good player now in Saad, and, and, and Chicago gets a great defenseman, though, in, in Zadorov, a great young defenseman who's cheaper than the contract that Saad was getting. Trading within the division, though, players like that, is it a little bit maybe a, a scary thing to do sometimes? What, what do you think as a Chicago, if you're any Chicago fans or any... Colorado fans, comment down below what you think on this. And Brandon Saad, I think, is a really good move, though, for the Colorado Avalanche because he's the type of player where he's not really going to be a superstar himself. He's got good speed. He, he's got decent offensive capabilities, but he definitely is much more of a complementary type of player. And you look at the players the Avalanche already have on there. They have great marquee guys like Nathan McKinnon. Gabriel Landeskog, Miko Rantanen, I mean, great players, Samuel Gerrard, Kale McCarr. I mean, the list goes on. They're pretty deep offensively, and Saad's going to come in, and he's going to just be a great compliment for guys like that. He can play up and down your lineup. He, he's a very versatile guy. And as for Dennis Gilbert, I mean, he sounds like more of a, a defensive depth guy. He, he's a prospect that I think can play well. I don't think he's ever going to be a really flashy player. Brandon Saad is more of the key piece of that deal going to Colorado. And for the Chicago Blackhawks, I think they get a great defenseman in, in Nikita Zadorov. I think he's a guy who's still, he's, his game is still growing. He's still developing in, in, in the fundamentals of the game. I think he's still got a, a little bit to go, but, I, but he's already a great defenseman. Obviously, he's a force. He's six foot six, two hundred thirty something pounds. And Anton Lindholm, again, much like Dennis Gilbert, more of a depth defenseman. I mean, it's a pretty interesting trade. I think Colorado maybe might have made a mistake giving up on Zadorov, but they get a guy in Sod. I still think they needed a little more depth in their bottom six. The Avalanche did, so maybe a guy like Sod definitely helps that out. And that's all I really got to say on that trade. As for winners and losers, it, it's that one's a little bit tough to say right now because both teams, you know, this trade's really fresh. I think both teams uh, got good players out of the deal, no, most notably Zadorov and, and Saad. So it, it's a little early to say on that trade right now, but we'll see what happens here and who I can declare a winner or loser on the next trade. So yesterday the Toronto Maple Leafs trade out forward Andreas Janssen in exchange for forward prospect Joey Anderson. I think this for Toronto is a, is a cap move for sure. Obviously when they signed Brody, we saw that we all saw they were over the cap. So making this move puts them a little bit under the cap. They still don't have a lot of room. I think Janssen though, for New Jersey Devils fans, obviously he had a bit of a rough year this year, 43 games played, eight goals, 13 assists for 21 points. So I think though he had a big injury obviously, but with him going to New Jersey, he's going to get a lot more offensive opportunity than he had in Toronto. With the Leafs, we obviously know they have the big four, Matthews, Marner, Nylander, Tavares. Those guys buy up a lot of ice time. They buy up a lot of cap space too, as everyone knows. But with and with uh, Janssen, I should say, he got kind of buried down the lineup. He had some injury issues this year, a, a severe injury, which is always unfortunate to see. But for him, he gets to prove himself in New Jersey now. He's a guy that, remember, scored 20 goals last year and I believe 43 points. So if he gets even more ice time, you add it on to that, he's a guy I could see getting potentially 50 points. I don't think he's ever going to be a superstar or, or putting up big point totals. I think he's more of a 40 to 50 point guy, 20 to 25 goal guy around that. But that's still a great player and a great move for New Jersey. As for Joey Anderson, I don't know if he's going to quite have the upside of Janssen. I, I think he sounds like he's going to be a pretty good player. I haven't really seen him play all that much. He played in 18 games last year. He posted four goals, two assists for six points. I think Toronto, though, again, this is a cap move they needed to make because of the, the signing they got in Brody and they got in Wayne Simmons. So for the Leafs, they still have tons of offense. So there's nothing to worry about there. They can afford to obviously trade out an offensive player to free up some cap space going forward. And they get a decent prospect in Joey Anderson, who comes in at a much pr a cheaper price tag, I should say, 
and Andreas Janssen. Well, guys, you got my thoughts on the two trades. If you're a fan of any of these teams, please comment down below what you think of the trade, what you, who you think won the trade, um, or the trades, I should say. But there's still uh, lots to go here with free agency and stuff, still some big names left on the board. So we'll see what happens later on today. But until then, please like and subscribe and share this video, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.